Okay. Um, so now we're going to uh, consider a mixture. Consider a mixture of uh, potassium chloride and uh, potassium nitrate. Um, and it's 43.2% potassium by mass. So what is our percent KCl by mass? Um, so to start off, um, I'm just going to list our molar masses here. So that's our potassium. That's our chlorine. Um, that is our nitrogen. And there should be more than one zero in there. And um, that is our, this is our oxygen. All right, so the molar mass of KCl is uh, is MK plus MCL, which comes out to be 74.5513. And the molar mass for potassium nitrate is our potassium plus our nitrogen plus three times our oxygen, which comes out to be 101. Point 1032. Okay, so the easiest way to start this off is just to assume we have 100 grams of sample. Um, we can use any amount because we're dealing with fractions in the end anyway, and so uh, it'll always be it'll always be able to extend to any amount of of mass. But 100 grams will make everything kind of nice. So if our M total is 100 grams, then that means that our mass of potassium is 43.2% uh, of that, or 0 0.432 times 100 grams, which is equal to uh, 43.2 grams. Uh, that means that the moles of potassium are 43.2 grams over uh, the molar mass of potassium. Which is equal to 1.10491 moles, uh, keeping a, an absurd amount of digits there. Um, okay, so If we have, um, so if, if we consider A moles of KCl, that means that, and remember that this is a one-to-one, -one, so we get A moles of K from A moles of KCl. And maybe I'll just use a capital A just to, to differentiate a bit. So if we have A moles of KCl, um, then that means, and if we think, if we assume we have B moles of KNO3, and again we have a one-to-one -one mixture, that means that A plus B must equal 1.10491. must equal 1.10491 uh, moles minus A. Okay, and so if those are our molar amounts and returning to um, and now looking at our total expression, right, so if we have A moles of KCl, 
oops. If we have eight moles of KCl, then that means that A times our molar mass of KCl plus B times our molar mass of KNO3 is equal to our total mass, which in this case we're taking as 100 grams. But again, we're going to convert. Um, we're going to convert that anyway. Um, or from this expression above, A times our molar mass for KCl plus 1.10491 moles minus A times the molar mass of KNO3 is equal to 100 grams. Okay. Um, so now collecting terms, we can calculate A because we know all of our molar masses. And so we have A, um, molar mass KCl minus molar mass KNO3 is equal to um, 100 grams minus 1.10491 times our molar mass for KNO3. And um, uh, actually, I'm just gonna stick that in there. So there's, that's moles. Um, so a quick unit check before we go too far, right? So this is going to be, A is gonna be in moles. So the whole thing on the right should be in moles. Um, this is grams per mole times moles, so that's gonna be in grams. So this side's gonna be in grams but that's in grams per mole, so when we divide it, we should get moles out the other side, so that looks pretty good. Uh, putting in values here now, so this is A, 74.55, I'm just gonna start cutting these down a bit, so rather than keeping all those units, 101.10, And um, this is uh, 1.105 times 101.10. And that's in moles. All right, uh, so the moles here will cancel, leaving grams. And so, uh, and then this here is gonna be A times minus 26. 0.55 is equal to, and on this side, if we do that through, is minus 11.71, and that's in grams per mole. And so our A, doing that division, comes out to be um, 0.4, for 102 uh, moles. So I'm just ex I just expanded the units the uh, digits back out again, um, and the amount of significant digits I guess would be three, so more like 0 0.441 moles. Okay. Um, so now. Uh, if that's our molar amount, that's also that's our molar amount of A, which is the molar amount of KCl. So that means our mass of KCl is just our molar mass, so 74.5513 grams per mole times our number of moles, which is 0 0.44102. Again, just keeping all the digits while I do the calculation and then doing the rounding after, which equals 32.879 grams, or about 32.9 grams. So there's our, our mass amount in our 100 gram sample. Um, so again, that we're just assuming that 100 grams, uh, but that's fine because we're, st we're looking for a percentage, right? So our percent KCL 
is just this mass amount, 32.879 over our full, which is 100 grams, which is, and then multiplied by 100%, which is uh, 32.9%, rounded to our three significant digits. Okay, so that's our uh, so that's our mass percent of KCL. So that's our final answer. Okay, looking through the solution, um, the easiest way is to assume that the mass is 100 grams, and then use that to find our percentage. Again, this will apply to any mass amount, not just not just the 100 grams, but a 100 gram sample makes it easier. Um, so we can calculate our mass of potassium, our moles of potassium. Um, let's also assume that the mass of chlorine is Y. Um, okay, so then they've added in a few extra steps. Um, okay. Um, moles of nitrate, so I don't think that's necessary, but it's doable. It's probably just cyclical, if I were to guess, as long as they don't make any mistakes. Uh, so they've calculated the moles of chlorine, uh, and use that to calculate the number of moles, but it comes out to be 0 0.44037, so roughly the same. My guess would be just some calculator error somewhere in here, or just some rounding error. Um, rounding error is what I meant, probably not a calculator error. Um, but then using, uh, using this, we get 32.83 grams, and in the end, 32.83%. So, uh, whereas mine would be, uh, rounded to two decimals would be 0.88. So, likely it's just off by some rounding differences. Um, I would say it's probably correct. Uh, or I'd say the solution is correct. Um, they just went a slightly different path. Uh, by calculating the other constituents as well, but I don't think that was necessary. Um, but yeah.